Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, as we celebrate the Ed Foreman Show's 200th episode, we take a look back at the humble beginnings of this hollow late-night talk show. Ed Foreman was raised on the shores of Lake Titicaca by wild titties. Menaging by the age of three and a half, Ed Foreman became a self-proclaimed ladies' man who had the ability to show men how to improve their lives by modeling them after his own. He went on to author such self-help books as I'll Make You Better Because I'm Better Than You, Condoms Hurt My Dick, But Babies Hurt My Pocketbook, So I'll Double Bag It, Baby, and Eat Breakfast Like a King, Eat Lunch Like a Pauper, and Dinner Is For Pussies, Unless Pussy Is For Dinner. Realizing that books are most certainly for pussies, Ed Foreman decided to devote his life to the stage. His career skyrocketed when Portland's finest rock club, Dante's, gave him the coveted Tuesday night at 9.30 slot to perform a late night talk show. However, it wasn't until the 50th show that Ed was actually allowed to perform inside the confines of Dante's. Let's take a look at archival footage from some of the first Ed Foreman shows. Right. Now, wait a quick question. You want to know, do you think Obama has a chance of being elected? I do, yes, he's going to. Don't touch the mic. What year is this? 2008. Don't worry. Right, too. right, yes. That person is so intelligent and he's going to do good things. Thank you, hey. For, for health care. Now give it up for the bet. Hey, uh, so I wanted to ask you a quick question. What do you think is going to happen in the last part of Lord of the Rings? Uh, I think uh, they might find another uh, place where they, you know, have find uh, magicians and like people that know magic, leprechauns. Hey, sir, would you be a guest on the Ed Foreman show with me, Ed Foreman? No. Uh, this is for the Ed Foreman show with me, Ed Foreman. Can I ask you a question? It's a political question. I just want to know, with George Bush leaving office, <laughs> Hey, Miss, can I interview you on the Ed Foreman show with me and Foreman? Yeah. It's one of our first shows. We're just trying to find guests. What do you think about American Idol this year? And honestly, what's the deal with that Clay Aiken? I hadn't seen American Idol this year. I don't know anything about it. You gotta go. But, the bus. No. <laughs> hey, Miss, can I ask you a quick question? No, the Ed no, Foreman no. show with me and Foreman. Listen, it's just, I want to talk about cell phones, cell phones. Yes, thanks for being here, guys. So everyone wants to know that the new big product of the year, Crystal Pepsi, what's that all about? Yeah, it's a calories thing. I understand. And of course, as always, our guests receive complimentary shoes courtesy of the bus stop at 3rd and Burnside. Thank you guys for being on the show. Everyone give them a round of applause. Hey, would you guys be guests on the Ed Foreman show? We're doing a late night talk show. Would you be our guest? Legalize marijuana! Lady, you heard it here first! What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Excuse me, sir. What do you think about Yasser Arafat being your boss? Uh, I don't know. How? What are you hiding? What are you hiding? Hey guys, welcome to the Ed Foreman Show with me and Foreman. We wanted to ask you really quick, what do you think about Michael Jordan retiring again? I don't know. Is there alcohol in that? Always alcohol. And that. The future of America. Not too bright. We'll take it. You know, in Portland, you've got the new meter system where you have to you have to put the stickers on front of your cars. That's a new thing to Portland. Well, what do you think about that? And the fact that the Oregonian is now 35 cents. Shock. Amazement. You, you look like borderline model. How many cats do you own? I have one. I got one. What do you think about, what do you think about this, uh, uh, this Vera Cats? Well, explain that to me. Vera, She's from Louisiana. Hey, the Saints the are a terrible football team. No, they're not. Yeah, they're, they're, oh, they stink. Yeah, they, they well, stink. Well, it took 47 oh, years to do something, but... Do what? Get 6 and 10? Well, they steal my home. That's right. Well, great. we love you Super for Bowl. it, too. What are you talking yeah. about? They won the Super Bowl. <laughs> Over time, Ed Foreman has interviewed all of Portland's finest celebrities. Politicians, athletes, artists, rock stars, local nut jobs. In fact, the guest for tonight's 200th show was actually his first guest of all time, Radio DJ Gustav from 94.7 KNRK. 
Hey, we're back on the Informant Show with me and Foreman, with our guest Gustav. So, hey, Gustav, tell me, what's the deal with this Gaga lady thing? Dude, I thought you were gonna sell me a bag of dope. We'll be back after this commercial break. Not cool. Excuse me, Val. It's just, that's fantastic. Yeah, uh... And we're back! Today, Ed Foreman finds increasingly novel ways of spreading his influence and money, including financing and writing his own documentary. But don't take my word for it. Let's listen to the man himself. $5,000 to homeless strippers. Hey, I didn't even see you there. Hey, it's me, Ed Foreman, The Informer Show. 200 episodes, so glad you could make it out tonight. We've done so much over 200 episodes. We've had interviews, great music, hilarious comedy bits, and of course, tons of drunken sex on the futon in the basement, but that goes without saying. Listen, everybody, we're so excited to have done 200 shows for you, but we want to give you 200 more. You might be saying, hey, Ed, what does the future hold for The Informer Show with you, Ed Foreman? I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Jimmy, you, you need to leave. Come I can't, I can't have Office Depot in this. You have to have right, an no. approval through corporate to be able to do any film. Ah! Well, there you have it, folks. At 200 episodes, The Ed Foreman Show has run 186 episodes longer than The Chevy Chase Show. Remember, you can find Ed Foreman every Tuesday night, indoors, at Dante's, doing his thing. If you would like a copy of this program, please send a bottle of Deco Rum and a copy of Field of Greens on VHS to P.O. Box PP5 One Doo Doo. Peace out, bitches. Say hello to my best friend.